Hey, what's up you guys? This is Steffi aka In My Humble Opinion and welcome back to another Fan Reaction Friday video. In today's video, we're going to be watching episode 4 of The Haunting of Bly Manor. It is called, the episode is entitled The Way It Came, so let's get right into it. So you have to remember forever now? Forever until you die? Mom mm. says they make me look mom says so this little boy looks like the person oh, that wow. was haunting Danny they're, they're and maybe blind. their siblings so this me? is probably young Danny you can stay for dinner again I should go home oh maybe no, they're not really. siblings my mom says you can stay anytime I think she wishes she could swap us okay so maybe they're best friends <laughs> Absolutely. I love like the 80s vibes. <laughs> I should be wearing like my 80s shirts while I'm watching the show. <gasps> oh, she's engaged. Oh, she feels guilty. <laughs> From childhood sweethearts to happily ever after. Daniel and Edmund. Oh. So, the next day, I get down on one knee and I asked her to marry me. Oh man. Okay, well she probably knows that she's gay or she's queer. <laughs> Whitney, <laughs> this is your story, girl. And what I want is to be the man that gets to be with this girl, this beautiful, amazing girl oh, for the rest of our lives. Seems really sweet. Danielle. Edmund. Danielle. Whitney. <laughs> oh my God, bitch. This is just a. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. <laughs> I remember the first time I met you. We're just the sweetest little thing. We said, good morning, Mrs. O'Meara. Mrs. O'Meara, oh my god, my English teacher in high school, her name was Mrs. O'Meara too, or her last name. I always hoped I'd have a daughter I could give this to. I'm so proud of my sons, but I don't think this would suit any of them. Or <laughs> well, maybe Carson. Anyway, Carson, I feel like Carson and I would be good friends. It's beautiful, I am. Uh, I don't know what to say. Oh. I'm Just using your son as my beard. Good morning, Mrs. Omara. Oh, Omara. Oh, Omara. Omara. My English teacher's name was Mrs. Omira. This is Omara. Come in. Oh. Where are they going? They're yeah, so look. formal. Peter starts at four. I mean, so much get early. Oh okay. right. Duh. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm dumb. It's okay. Uh, Owen's mom's nice. funeral. I promise. I don't need to be a date to Owen's mom's funeral. Oh, okay. okay My date? Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, girl. She has like PTSD. See, she is okay. She is feeling maybe like the guilt of involving herself with this man, knowing that perhaps she didn't reciprocate those feelings, and then somehow that led to his untimely death. Therefore, she feels responsible. Hmm, I wonder if there is a pattern in which when he appears, because he appeared when maybe she was having feelings for this girl, and then guilt. Oh, <laughs> just like popped up. No. No, I decided to stay home. Seems well, bitch, if they all left, I mean, one of them has to stay here for the kids, so... You know, your parents loved you so, so much that... In a way, they'll always be here. They're not here. We can pretend. That makes you feel better. Oh. One of you commented and said this little girl is the voice of Peppa Pig, which, like, blows my mind. Since I was married. Since I was married. I pay my respect to my own ways. By lighting candles. Viola what? Viola Lloyd. Died in 1980. I'll make tea. No. I'll make it. Keep the American away from the tea. Oh, oh, it's gonna get scary. See, okay, I'm telling you, she feels the guilt! She, like, really does have PTSD. <laughs> or some sort, some form of it. I thought he was Peter Quint. She's ridiculous. I'm much better looking. Stand down, Papa. Zap is a 
Always done. You should eat. I bet you haven't eaten. Like Hannah will take care of you. I didn't know Emma was coming. She's been making your favorite. She had a feeling. Intuition. Oh, great shoulders. Oh, oh God. Thank you. Uh oh. Here we go. Did you let Mike see you in yours? Oh my God. This is scandalous. Mrs. Grace says shepherd's pie is your favorite. Shepherd's pie. Killing you, fans. I was attacked, you know. Right at the front door. I'm so sorry. Hey, now you leave her alone. She can't help it. She's American. Essentially, savage people. <laughs> no, she strikes you. Really? Mrs. Grace, tell him. Just take your dinner. I feel like these kids are like really intuitive. Like they can tell Dying when there's there. some like connections. What if I was already dead? Mm. But nobody else knew, and I was walking around dead. But everybody could see and hear me. It only felt like dying. Because actually, I was still alive. You have to be to feel that way. Oh my gosh, wow. Flora, I am impressed. Only that dead doesn't mean gone. So, you don't need to be sad. Oh, that was cute. Like a, that was a nice, non-scary moment from the children. I want an actual bloody drink! That's fucking right, Danny. I think these kids are at times possessed by spirits or something. Like, even they say their moods just change so frequently. Like, I, it's just so weird. What is that? Yeah. I do know that. They're like, yeah, put those kids in their fucking place. Oh, great. The, the house is fucking moving on its own. Eerie music playing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whitney? Oh, shit. Woo! That's Peter. That's Peter. He's got Peter. See? What are you looking at? I'm sorry? You do that a lot. You look over my shoulder. What are you looking at? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Miles, you've got some great grown ups, some great people here to choose for your family. If you want to. Aw, oh, that was cute. Trying to bomb with the kid. But Miles is gonna make a weird. Don't make a weird, Miles. Don't make a weird. Oh! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I thought he was gonna, like, start speaking to the ghost. Well, outside, you're joining us. Hmm. Yes, I am. Employee bonding time. Adult bonding time. Oh, oh my god, it's good. My keys! Anna, give her a bottle. S'mores! <laughs> oh, s'mores sounds so good right now. I always hear that planning a wedding is one of the most stressful things a person can do. But you're doing great. And the other thing was just tone it all down. Maybe just. I don't know, I don't think we have to go so crazy with it. Tone it down, meaning I don't want to get married to you anymore. <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> I can't. Oh Lord! What did I do? Oh. <laughs> what didn't I do? It's not like that. Well then, what's it like, Danielle? I always like hand it to waiters, man. Like they must like have come across so many like intense table moments. Okay, he's gonna get in a car accident right now. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. Yeah. Eddie. No, let me go. Eddie. Let me go. I'm sorry. Eddie, not. You've done enough. I feel Eddie. bad for Eddie. Eddie. Oh, there he is. Oh damn, Eddie. R.I.P. This is why, kids. When you get out of your car, check. You check to see if there is a car parking next to you or coming. Always look both ways. <laughs> That's my TSA for this episode. <laughs> so I wonder if no one else but Eddie knew that she was gay or queer. Rebecca Jessel. Oh my god, it's been almost a year. Well, I want to see more of Hannah and Rebecca Jessel interactions. Lord and Lady Wingrave. 
Dominic and Charlotte. They were good people, and their kids really miss them. Mm. Nothing can fix that. But here's Danny Clayton. She's a bit of a weirdo, but she's a lot stronger than she thinks. That was nice, Jamie. What about you, Poppins? That's nice. I'm glad she didn't push. She has sweet teeth and a dirty laugh. And she loved me so hard. Oh my god, it's so sad. Uh, Owen is making me tear up. And all I could do was just let her hang on to me until it was time to let go. And soon I'll let her go too. That's what love is, being able to let go. Love is not possession. <laughs> Thesis. Oh my god, I never liked this. I never liked this. Watching people receive bad news in silence is so sad. Oh my god, this is so sad. I, oh. It could be any movie or any show. Watching people receive news, bad news in silence, particularly that someone has passed, is like the saddest thing. Oh man. Damn, that's like so trippy. Like obviously she's grieving for the loss of him, but a lot of her emotion stems from like guilt. But all these people don't know that. They think it's probably just purely stemming from the fact that she lost her husband. <laughs> oh man, that's that's heavy. I uh I just tell her girl. Told you about my fiance earlier, didn't I? Oh he did. Yeah. Oh the I think we'd, uh, get around to that one. Yeah. <laughs> we were engaged, and he died. There you go, girl. Is he here now? No. Good. Because, you know, I'll sort him out for you if I have to. <laughs> Oi! Dead boyfriend! Give it up, me! It's over! Danny needs someone Seriously, like Jamie right now. This is nice. Crazy. Okay, so now I'm wondering when these two start to hook up if she's gonna see Edmund. Okay, let's see if he's gonna pop up. Let's see if he will pop up. Sure. Yes. Oh, okay, so he's not here, but he might- uh, Sorry, that would- that was literally the most inconvenient time for my card to run out of memory, but I just put in a new card, so let's resume. Okay, let me go back a little bit. Okay, but as I was saying, I wonder if at some point during this, yes. it seems like they're gonna maybe just, I don't know how far they're gonna go, but I wanna see if he will appear at some point. Let's just have this moment. Just give them this moment, please, Edmund. Oh, there he is. See, I fu- Forget about it. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just. Uh, oh my god. Just. Another night, maybe. Just tell her that you Another saw time. him! Dude, just tell her that you saw him. She'll what? understand. I brought some lasagna. Oh. Oh, my favorite. I'll yeah. have the lasagna. Yeah. I, I brought something else too. It's. Um. I, I think it was silly, sort of, but. Oh, she's gonna give him the glasses. Happy. Okay. Or give her the glasses. I can't stand to look at them. <laughs> so I want I you to stand to look at them. So I hope you know that you're still a really important part of this family. I hope you know that I mean that. Yeah, come on. Aww. Oh. His mom is so freaking nice. Okay. Um, I, I actually have some stuff I need to get done. Oh, sure. Of yeah. course. Um, oh, this is when she's leaving. She's like, well, at least I have a meal. On my way to the airport. Hello, Grace. Paris. You and me while we still can. So sorry to interrupt. You and me while we still can. Talking. I'll call you later. Ah. It's all good. Oh my god, girl. Next episode, tell her. Oh, she's gonna see that she's out of her bed. Skating? Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god, that was a scary sound. 
ma'am, I don't understand. Like, why doesn't she just fucking stay in her room at night? That's not a hard direction to follow. Oh, Lord, here we go. It was a horrible dream. I spammed it. Now that I wait. Oh, so these two maybe are trying to protect her. God, I hope so. Maybe protect her from, like, evil spirit or something? And I had burnt hands. That sounds awful. Oh my god, sweetie, there's Swimming. something behind you. <laughs> oh, I lord, so... what the fuck? Did I have a glass of milk? Of course. Why don't we all get the milk together? Why don't they turn on the lights? Okay, just go straight to your room. Oh my god, really? She's like, let me live my life, Edmund. All right, and some post-show thoughts. So got more of a backstory with Danny this episode, learning what the story was behind that ghost with the glasses. I forget what I said in the previous video, but I feel like I was spot on. I was kind of predicting what ended up being the reality of who that ghost was. I do think I said in the previous video, his lenses of his glasses looked like headlights of a car. So I was assuming that he was involved in some sort of like car accident, which he, I guess, was run over by a car. So I guess he was. I wasn't necessarily like really like, surprise with oh my god she got married to this guy and blah 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 like as the story started to reveal a little bit more of itself in this episode i kind of see where it was going but it's interesting that they gave danny's character that backstory i do wonder though if she'll be able to let go of him which i feel like that idea of what is the difference between love and possession i think it's like a two-way street like just as much as edmund didn't want to let go of danny and understandably like he didn't really have much time to be given the chance to let go like he pretty much found out was super pissed soon after finding out that news he got killed so he wasn't really given the chance the time to let go but i also think danny has to let go of him as well in order to let herself move forward, which I hope by the end of this, she is able to move forward in some way. We're technically like halfway into the series, which is like crazy. Also, Danny and Jamie got their first kiss. This is their first kiss? Yeah, they got their first kiss this episode. Yeah, I want to see like, I want to see if Danny will ever get to the point where when she does show any sort of affection towards Jamie, I want to see her get to the point where she doesn't see Edmund anymore because she deserves that. So also RIP Owen's mom. So sad, so sad. All right, my question for you guys is, I want to know what did you think about the backstory that they gave Danny? Were you satisfied with that story? Did you think it was interesting? Did you think it was predictable? Let me know, what do you guys think? I feel like for me, it's all three of those things. Interesting backstory, but also a bit predictable, but still interesting. So yeah, let me know. What were your guys' thoughts on Danny's backstory that was given to her? All right, and that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on a notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out. And comment down below your thoughts on this particular episode. As always, I'm going to be plugging my podcast that I host. It's called Diva Dailies. It's a podcast where we deconstruct divas on film and TV. So if you guys think that'd be something you'd be interested in listening to, you could find us wherever you listen to your podcast. So yeah, just search Diva Dailies. As always, everything I said, which is my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh, also the next one I believe is going to be this Sunday. So make sure your notifications are turned on for that. Okay. Bye.